Rowena Dooley asking Seoul citizens to report for duty. Duly asking Seoul citizens to report for duty. And greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome back to Soul Voices. I am Griffin Gaming RPG, and I'm here with my good friend, my fellow Chicagoan Midwestern man, DK75. Dark Knight, how are you, buddy? Doing great today. Good. Ready to have fun with the community and talk about all the kinds of crazy stuff happening on the news. Crazy, crazy, <laughs> crazy stuff, yeah, right? We've got some uh, interesting a, posts, right? I think people are kind of crazy. This whole 318 thing has made everybody kind of go a little crazy. I think so. I have, think so. Have you had some time? Have you had some time in 318 at all? Have you had a chance to monkey around Actually, with it? Yeah, actually, I have. I try to get in there as much as I can, but, mm -hmm. you know, and do what I can to, you know, right now, earn rep, earn money, because that'll be saved through, you know, through the white. So I've been going in there doing a few things and the game breaks. <laughs> yeah, know, it's to be expected, but I don't get serious about it. We'll talk about that later. You know? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, is there anything in particular that you that you that that isn't 318? I know we're, we're just yesterday they did the merge where they added 3.18.1 mm -hmm. and point two. They've actually added a third server set that we the first time mm -hmm. we've had an EPTU. But is there mm -hmm. anything that in 318 that you are kind of digging that you like really enjoying so far? Yeah, um, you know what? I tried out salvaging, and I actually you had did. a good time with that. Okay, you know, and. Um, you know, there's we got a discussion here later, but um, but I really I, I really do enjoy it. It's something I could see myself doing is you know just kind of a little side thing to have fun with, you yeah. know, or just kind of chill out. You know, it really is like a chill out type of thing. <clears throat> it's funny. And that you... been... go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh no, no. And then I was just working delivery missions. You know, right now mm. I'm just having fun building up rep for Kovalex right yeah. now at Area 18. And I might try out some bounty hunting in a little bit just to earn some extra credits. But you know, not in a hurry. I just want to you know kind of earn some and earn credits and earn some rep yeah so i can take that over it's Next funny time. that you said that about salvaging because i've been surprised at how many people who normally never talk about industrial or that type of mm -hmm. gameplay and a lot of them have not only just tried out salvaging but they've kept going back to it which has been really interesting to me that it's a lot of these players I don't know, maybe because I'm, I'm an industrial person, right? Mining is my thing. Mm -hmm. Salvage is naturally going to be something else I would think about doing. I used to do that in EVE as well. But I am surprised at how many people have embraced salvaging. And the number one comment is what you said, that it is relaxing, it's chill, mm -hmm. which is surprising, considering, you know, yeah. it's an industrial kind of thing. Uh, and people have been doing that both in the Vulture and the Reclaimer. Of course, it's, we talked about this before. It's great to see the Reclaimer mm -hmm. come to life because it's been in game forever. And yeah, to actually really see nice the multi-crew, yeah, see the multi-crew mm -hmm. come to life on that ship 
It's yeah. really, really. And I can cool. see it getting better once you know the the munching comes in and and other things that you know that they might add to the gameplay for salvaging. That multi crew is going to be really, really cool on a big ship. And it, and you know I, I'd love to see it if they go even large. Well, I'm, they're probably not going to go larger than a reclaimer. Yeah. Think it's as big as me, so. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you can Our see. Oh, uh, shady so, face. Yes, we watched. Griff do that one day. I, listen, Griff was power washing a house. <laughs> I play power wash simulator. That's my OCD game. Okay, if I want to do something, mm -hmm. just get my brain elsewhere. That is it. Um, yeah, it's 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 going to be something like you said. And we're just seeing tier zero, tier one, right? So you know, as we see it evolve, it's going to be really interesting to see how far they take that. You know, they're still taking mining to places that we thought they were done, mm -hmm. and they're still talking about expanding mm -hmm. mining. So. God knows right. if, if they do every career at this level of detail, people will, man, you'll never get bored. There'll always be something yeah, exactly. to keep you, keep you going. Exactly. Just, exactly. Just, there's, there's a lot to do within your own profession. Yeah. You yeah. know, they're, they're wanting to expand that so that you feel like you have a lot to do and, and, and something to work towards in your profession. Absolutely. Um, there's chosen one. You could do many others. You can multitask, but you know, your chosen profession is something that you should have fun with and, yeah. you know, well, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, gang, as you guys know, this is the show, uh, Soul Voices, one of our mini shows. Uh, this is our one where you get to come in one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, we do Soul Talk on Thursdays with Fast Card Hosting. And on that show, it's kind of a round table. But in this show, you get to come in and talk to DK and myself, give us your thoughts, and also share your thoughts with the community about the topics that we're talking about. Uh, we take our topics from Spectrum and Reddit, and we are definitely doing that today. We've got some interesting as DK said earlier, <laughs> some interesting topics to talk about today. But we do want to give some shout outs to people who are here. We see New Soul is out there. Pops and Space is there. Scavenger, good to see you. Yeah. Reload from Test Squadron. Best Squadron is out there. Shady Phase, as always, good to see you. And our good friend Kai from Black Sky Legion. Thank you guys so much for being here today. Uh, and those of you who we didn't name because we don't see you in chat, give us a shout. Let us know that you're here. We're really excited to have you guys here on Saturday. What day is this, DK? April Fool's Day, right? April 1st Yay. for those of us huh. here. And we're going to see whether or not any of these questions have any foolish answers that we're going to give them. Maybe we'll be the fools and <laughs> try to take on some of these topics, DK. But uh, don't forget, there is a link that will drop in from time to time that'll let you come into our green room and you get to come in. We'll bring you in and you'll get to talk to us. So if you want to share your thoughts, we would love to hear from you. Uh, okay, DK, are you uh, all set and ready? I'm ready. You're ready. ready. All right, DK says, yeah. ready, Freddy. Um, ready, Freddy. By the way, later on, remind me to send you this uh, house video, this house music oh. thing that you're just going to okay. die laughing. Oh, some old heads. At a, at a house of vengeance. It is, it is yes. worth, it is worth the 30 seconds. Trust me. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and jump into this. Our first topic that we have today from spectrum comes from Falco okay. comes from Falco. Um, Falco, uh, says CIG must stop um, Americans for, I guess it means Americans plural from connecting to the UE servers, the European servers. Uh, the UE servers are not made to support that load during those hours. It is not playable. 90% of the people on EU servers right now are not from the EU. The servers need to be dynamically bought. I guess that means bought to Amazon, brought to Amazon, I uh, brought up to, I know. Yeah, I know what he's saying though. Yeah, to fit the needs, needs to be brought up, uh, to fit the needs of at asked hours. If your region is on heavy load at the same time every day, you must stay in it. There is more servers allocated to your region. EU servers are made to run very, very low pop during EU night, and it can't handle the load since it isn't calculated into the Amazon rent. Um, wow. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I don't know. I've tried to be on both sides of the lake on this one, DK. Let me get, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, well, you know All what? Right. i tell you what. Should we bring in the guests and then we'll give ours? What do you think? Let's let's bring in the guests. Yeah, yeah. Let's. We, do don't, that, wanna I, I, I yeah, we don't want to steal their thunder. Yeah, we don't want to steal their thunder. Yeah. yeah, we'll see what yeah, happens here. All right, I'm going to bring in uh, from uh, New Soul. We're going to bring in Pops in Space first. We'll bring him in and uh, share what he thoughts. Pops, you there? Yeah, yes, I am. How are you? Okay. Good, okay. Good. 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 Hey, good. Hey, I need some help. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Most of all, so do the EU servers, evidently. But go ahead, what you got? How does he know? To, how does he know? 
is my Good question. Point. Well, you can tell from the chat for one. <laughs> um, it is a well-known thing, Pops, that mm, when the well U.S. Known. servers start borking out, mm, folks will go to okay. the EU servers, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, definitely I've if they're communicating it. in the chat, if they're typing stuff in the chat saying, hey, how are the servers doing over here? And, you know, people will respond, oh, yeah, they're way better over here than they are in the U.S. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. whether or not his percentage is right, you know, 90% of the people, I don't know. But mm -hmm. I will say U.S. players... First, you first EU, then Australia, then now the Asian servers. That's where they go when U.S. is acting kind of crazy. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's mm -hmm. the deal. Now, I don't know if the percentage is right. Ten percent, twenty percent, ninety percent. I can't tell you. Yeah, I can't. Uh, there's mm. no number, is there? And I mean, unless maybe just all U.S. people are talking in the chat, and he's just assuming most of the people over here talking are from the U.S. But I, I will tell you, people do it. It's no question about it. it mm -hmm. It's no question. Everybody about does it from every <laughs> single region. Yeah, because we for used to multiple jump. reasons. Mm -hmm. yeah. We used to jump to the Australian server. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, you know. Yeah, yeah. So was that from, your question? From... Was that your question, Pops? You just wondered how he knew. I, yeah, I'm. I, I'm just confused. I was just wondering how he knew. Okay. And yeah. then, well. You know, I guess the, the state of the game right now is is where it is where we're kind of separated. But the game in the future is we're all going to be together. It's, it's well, not have that. we don't. It'll be a long time from now, pops. That's going to be yeah. a long, oh, long time long from time. now. Yeah. And, and and that's a maybe. And that's still a maybe. Believe you me. Um, mm, there's a great there's really? some great videos put out by Ray's Guide, um, mm -hmm. and he talks okay. about he talks about I don't want to say this the wrong way. I want you all to watch the video for yourselves. But he talks about the reality of a one shard server in a game like Star Citizen. And this is what mm -hmm. he says. This is what he says. And I'm just, I'm don't, I'm not quoting him. I'm just giving you guys the general idea of what he says. And I've been trying to find out whether he's right. I think he is from my, my research, but I could be wrong. And DK, you're a tech guy, so maybe you know. What he says mm. is this. He says mm. that in, you can make a one shard server. The problem is going to be your tick rates and, and times. Mm -hmm. So in other words, someone over in Europe and someone over in the U.S., when you do particularly things like FPS and things mm -hmm. where you actually are reliant upon reaction time, there will be delays. Mm -hmm. And there's no way to completely minimize those delays on a global scale into one server. Those of us who Just play EVE, no, happen. that Eve, even though we're on one shard in Eve, they have to time dilate because there's no way to be 100% real time and see laser mm -hmm. blasts hitting when they hit based on when you aim and all that. Does. They have a workaround for it, but you're not in real time. And so mm -hmm. what many people that I've talked to who are tech people say is that it is possible to do regional servers. In other words, there may be three servers or two maybe even, but to have mm -hmm. one that does everything, that it is, an, it is an issue of physics and science of how the speed of light moves. And you cannot change mm -hmm. the speed of light. You cannot yep. speed up or slow down that problem. Well, you can yeah. artificially slow down things. But my point is, mm -hmm. is that the speed of light is what dictates how quickly information is being transferred. And, okay. and, and is it now, hey, can man, you know, at one point, Man said that, you know, uh, was it, um, uh, not Adam can't be destroyed, but, um, what was the old theory? Um, energy, can, energy cannot be destroyed, right? Created. But, you know, but, but, you know, now we know that it, we all thought you could just transform its shape, but now we know because of atomic stuff, you can blow stuff up, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so it, is it limited to our knowledge or is that true? It may mm -hmm. be one of those laws that says FPS may not be that great. We don't know. We don't know. That's all I can mm -hmm. tell you, Pops. You know, there's yeah. this, we're yeah. doing it into this static thing. Then we're going to go into these dynamics meshing. Whether or not they can do a full server or a, one server that does everything is is a challenge that is out there. And we'll have to see. Okay. Yeah. See, I, I come here. Now, I mean, I just don't come here to talk. I come to be educated. And, you know, thank you. And I, I just, I'm just an advocate for not spreading the lies from you know uh this person Mis may not Mis misinformation know misinformation let's right. say misinformation exactly. <laughs> more, more misinformation <laughs> than calling it a lie because you know yeah. 
uh, that, that that can happen. And I'm just yeah. wondering how did he, how in the heck did he know that? But if he if he knows, yeah. I'm glad for the education. Well, it's interesting because Scavengers saying the speed of light can't be changed, which is what I was sharing. And then uh, JJ says, mm, actually, it can be. Uh, it has been done. So, you know, guys, I, I don't know. Like mm -hmm. I said, I'm just going from the research that I've had. And if you've got some enlightenment, hey, feel free. I'm not going to spend all day talking about this thing with the speed of light. But, Pops, I'm glad you asked the question so you do understand that the yeah, UE yeah, servers you. thing is a thing, okay? Let me get thank Fist in, so all righty? Thank you, buddy. Okay. All right, Pops kicks us off as always. Let's bring Fist okay. in, and then we've got Kai waiting for us. Hello. Fist, Hello. how are you, buddy? Okay, so um, as far as the server things, mm -hmm. uh, I guess maybe this person has, I don't know, have have, have they ever played like a, a, a Asian MMO? Um, Blade and Soul, Lost Ark. Which, which, but what's the question? The I mean, to your point is what? To my point is this. They lock their servers. Mm. They do lock their servers. So that what? You can't get in? You can't. You, you, have, you have to go through a VPN. Okay. You have to go through uh, exit lag or, you know, get yourself a VPN to just to try to see if you can get through over there. And to my point is saying is that, you know, if you look at, you know, all of this stuff about he's saying, you know, stop the EU, stop Americans to come over here. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, um, this and that and the other. I mean, where's, what is that going to do? Like, it's going to make this he can get in his game. He, they, they they do have less servers in the EU. They they have they have a lot less servers. We have East Coast and West Coast servers. We've got way more servers than they do. And, and, and I and I get that point, but but what I'm trying to say, and I'm being sarcastic to, to the question, is saying like, um, you know, what really are you expecting? He's you expecting to saying? get into his game. But, well. You got, you got to get up early or whatever, try to log on earlier then. Okay, so you said he's got to do something different than we have to do. We Americans, you you, you Americans, you can do whatever you want to do over on our servers. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're I'm saying? I'm being real because here's the thing. I'm though, asking you, is that what you're saying? Yes, you told, exactly you just told him saying. he needs to get up early and get on the computer exactly, earlier. Exactly what oh, I'm saying. that's cold-blooded, man. That's Listen, cold. Let me explain something. What, what Rick James say? That's cold-blooded. <laughs> you, you sure right, and I stand on him. I two feet no problem so listen and, I, and I'm, I'm saying it like this is because okay and i go back to my first point about the asian um uh mmos you know stuff like that man i mean people been knocking down doors to try to get into those games excuse me one second so hang on prisoner mm -hmm. and, and guys thank you I, I thought there were some servers at one point on the west coast you're telling me they're all in virginia that's it everything in amazon's in virginia and that's it is that what i'm hearing guys because i don't want to put out misinformation uh uh west coast server is needed though okay he's saying no he says it's just on the east coast okay Go ahead, oh really oh okay damn that's i should have a good ping then shoot <laughs> <laughs> yep the only so, aws so, data hey. center is in oregon and i would have to ping wait a minute well I, when I, I meant west i didn't mean like on in seattle guys i'm just saying we've got servers in different places are you servers telling me in only in, in, all right prisoner yeah. saying only in virginia and then north ender says yeah there's an aws data center in oregon i thought aws was in several places guys not just in virginia that could be, AD, yeah AWS has data centers all that, yeah over. that seems kind of i don't know okay well there, somebody send me something with some Research behind yeah. it, so we'll know. Okay, go ahead, Fist. I'm sorry. But but no, but to my point is is saying is that which what 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 really are you asking and and, and saying? You asking CIG to lock uh, the servers? You know what? Lock the servers? You know what, DK? We're gonna have to let the player haters talk to this brother because he, he, really he ain't having no sympathy. He ain't having no sympathy. I didn't say no, 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 I didn't no, say no, I didn't, listen, he didn't suggest, he didn't saying. suggest he didn't suggest anything. He just said what he said was, and listen, this is what he said. He said the servers need are, are dynamically bought that they need to uh as ours if your region is heavy load at the same time every day you must stay there and, and, and there are more servers allocated in your region the servers are made to run very on low population during eu nights and can't handle the load so i mean i didn't know that they had any issues in europe with us logging in i didn't but evidently I, this player is saying we they can't even get in because of you americanans I, 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 now I, I understand, 
and, and possibly because is is this so because this is the first time i'm ever he hearing of this now be is this because of the situation that we're having with well, the 18 that, now that could be it because that now, was see, you're, you're hitting, the, you're hitting it on the head you're hitting it on the head that's because a lot then. of people were trying to find ways to make the game work they couldn't get in in the u.s so a lot of people tried to get in and some people did get right. in on the eu service okay. it's a very good point fist very good point absolutely that, that's different though because this is the first time i'm ever hearing, hearing somebody complain about it yep Yep. about it yep and and because of the, the recent light of the issues of what's going on not yep. to take up too much time but that's different yep and you're right now you're right because that's different because if when i first read it and maybe i didn't hear the question fully no you did and i apologize no you didn't no you heard it right and, and your okay. and your answer is probably the end because this came out just recently this is in the old post and we've okay. been going on eu servers and australian servers for the past eight right. years and you've never Everybody heard anybody barking. really barking about it so you're right. i would say you're probably right Okay. So that 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 don't make sense on that part. But if he's asking for the other part, what I talk about for, in, in the beginning, oh, server locks just say just just, just, just server lock them down. you can forget about it. No, because, that's not happen. Okay, even if they do that, well, guess what? They're gonna get a VPN anyway and, and go it. over go over there. So come on, dude. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's asking for that. I think he's just frustrated, like you said. You know, I think that is what the deal is. Right. Um, you know. People, you know, gamers are going to find a way. If, listen, right, when, exactly. when that freaking dopamine mm -hmm. kicks in, they'll freaking log listen, into Alaska if they have to to you, figure you, out how to get exactly in the game. Right. When you want to get, when you want something, you going the determination is a factor when when that dopamine kick in. <laughs> and I'm not going. And I'm gonna keep it real quick. We know when those addicts. I'm not gonna say the other word. When those addicts come in, they are the most determined people. Oh, yeah. So do not. Don't trust me. Please, yeah. okay. please believe me. Yeah, right? You're right. All right. You're right. All right, Fist. Thank you, brother. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's bring in Kai oh. Zed here. Kai, you there? Oh, there hello, he hello. Hold on. Let me put this on speaker. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yep. Beautiful. Sorry. I am downstairs in my kitchen making spicy sausage sandwich for lunch. <laughs> so okay. I, I'm That's good. I got the iPad on with the show, and okay. I've got. I'm, Discord on the phone. So cool. We hear you. Let me address a couple things. First off, a uh, point that Griff made. He talked about time dilation in in Eve as a longtime Eve player. I got to say, that's not a thing that's always in the game. That's a thing that they employ when the servers <laughs> it's big. Get so when there's a big battle, when right. there's fleet ops in an area, that's when uh, um, uh, tranquility right. gets time dilated. Secondly. To your point about splitting the atom, that's where the Greek word atoma comes from. It means the smallest thing that can't be divided. Mm -hmm. That was the truth for a long time until mm -hmm. we got past that. As far as the speed of light being changed, actually, there's an office that records it, and it's changed several times over the last several years mm -hmm. until about a decade ago where they redefined how the speed of light is actually done mm -hmm. that makes it such that whatever the speed of light is, that's what the term of measurement is. Mm. And uh, uh, Sheldrake, Rupert Sheldrake, has a really interesting TED talk about that. Mm. Okay, so and to the brother's point, I absolutely have sympathy for him. Mm -hmm. I absolutely feel that, like, man, that's rough if you're having a hard time getting in. Mm. But as this said, there are several games that, that literally lock it to where you cannot access a game from out of region without using a VPN. Mm -hmm. This is not technology that is new. This is technology that uh, uh, CIG knows well about. They choose not to employ it. They mm -hmm. have made a decision on their end to allow for the freedom of players to play. If you were to introduce this guy's fix, mm -hmm. while I understand that he feels that it's what he wants, it would prevent players who are friends from EU and USA playing mm, together. together. It would prevent yeah. people from different regions. It would prevent certain, you know, test squadron or this, that, and the other groups that get together were across different time zones. Right. Uh, Amazon Game Studio does have multiple server farms in the United States, some of which are used for general traffic, some of which are used for government-only traffic, mm -hmm. but there are more than just in Virginia. I don't know if CIG only uses the ones Mm -hmm. in Virginia, but there are more than just one set of server farms in the U.S. Yeah. Um, and I think it's important that we keep in mind that while people might have their impressions about like, hey, I want it to go this way, I want it to go that way. And I'm not saying to be disrespectful 
of other people's feelings. Mm -hmm. In the end, we are playing the game that CIG wants to provide us. Yeah. And they've made a decision in this particular case in favor of the freedom of their players to do whatever the hell they want. Yeah. So I think maybe with, with love and respect to this guy, mm -hmm. maybe a more productive way of framing his point on the, the uh, spectrum would be to say that with the current 318 condition, we are having problems yeah a hard time mm -hmm. getting in in the eu therefore we respectfully ask not that you make a 180 change that stops people from playing mm -hmm. together but that you allocate some more server Service. resource yep. for the eu so that those people can get on when they want to get on yeah yep good point and lastly yeah. i'll say this i know this isn't the show doesn't do politics but right now because of all this TikTok nonsense <laughs> there is a house bill up in congress that would make it illegal where you would pay fines and could go to jail mm -hmm. for using a VPN yep. for mm -hmm. uh, trying to access mm -hmm. anything that the United States government doesn't want you to access. This is super dangerous. This mm -hmm. is not a Republican or a Democrat thing. This mm -hmm. is a, the United States government is trying to steal our freedoms thing. Yep. And everybody needs to fight against that. Good point. I love you. I'm Good gonna go point. make my sandwich. All right, buddy, enjoy that sandwich, man. Thanks for dropping in. Ciao. All right. <laughs> DK, which thoughts, brother? Uh, okay, so I, I have quite a few thoughts, and and some of them, you know, slightly modified after talking to Pops and kind mm -hmm. of. But one of the things that first came up when I started when I read the original art uh, post was that we're only talking about U.S. and EU, mm -hmm. and maybe Australia, all Western countries that have a lot of servers. Period. Mm -hmm. What about the people, in, and he's talking about latency from U.S. players going over to EU. What about the players from African countries mm -hmm. and from South American countries that mm -hmm. might be playing on your server, too? Mm -hmm. And guess what? They're about 8,000 miles away from any server. <laughs> right, right. So they're going to have to connect in latency and latency and mm -hmm. ping rate. And like that is going to be affected not only by them. 4.5 million players, one guy had mentioned, they mm -hmm. don't all just live in the Western countries. That's right. That's true. Everywhere. Yep. India. You know, Korea, yep. Afghanistan, yep. you know, I'm just, there's people everywhere. What is the guy in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, or in Sao Paulo, Brazil? What are they supposed to do about play? Because you want to say lock them from everybody. Mm -hmm. They don't have servers in South America. They don't have servers mm -hmm. in the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. If they did, I'd probably play on those. Mm -hmm. And I might have a different, uh, you know, ping rate. Right now, I play on the Asian servers for the most part. Mm -hmm. and, my, and one guy was saying, well, you know, keep it under 300 ping. I'm like, well, I'm at 200. So, and everything feels just fine for me. You know, I don't have any problems. I have my reasons for playing on the Asian servers, which is why I said if they had South American and African, I'd play plays on those too. Would you, would you do me a favor and re read Bonsai's <laughs> comment down there? Read Bonsai's comment. You see it? Oh, okay. I'd be fed if I could switch service reasons. Oh, so AWS no. needs service. Which one? That one. So AWS. AWS needs service on the moon, so everybody has the same bad ping. Right. <laughs> that way everybody can experience what it's like. You know, it's like if you if they want to satisfy and be able to make things easier on the EU server and also the US and also the Australian servers, then open up more servers in other places yeah. that have that, that are closer to other people that are also playing. They finally sped up the uh, the Asian server. Mm. I'm glad about that. I'm surprised that it took as long as it did. To be honest with you, I'm long. surprised. Now they could spin up more <clears throat> in <throat> other places around the world. One in Canada, one in South America is somewhere in Brazil, probably, you know, just different places that they can accommodate the closer, you know, the, the people close enough. And AWS does have servers in multiple countries all over the continent. You know, every continent has at least has one server, you know, so that that would help ease it up a little bit. But um, but as far as, you know, as far as what he's looking for, it's kind of a, you know, a um, conceited thing to ask for. It's like. You know, why are we only concerned about U.S. players playing on EU? EU players come and play in the uh, U.S. all the time. A, you know, it just, it's just, yeah, where I, are your friends, I, you know? Your I, friends I, are all over the world. I think, Fist, <laughs> I think Fist hit the nail on the head because, like yeah. you said, you haven't heard really this type of posting before in relation Never. to people using it. I do think it is 318. There was a lot of frustration with 318's mm -hmm. launch, right? People mm -hmm. getting the code errors, not being yes. able to get in, even when they were, could get Everybody. in, servers were full. 
So, mm-hmm. uh, and I think that uh, Kai's point when he says that we are sympathetic to any player who wants to play the game right. and you just can't get in. Uh, but your point and Kai's point, and Kai really mentioned it, there are other ways to frame this out, which becomes not an attack on the players, but mm-hmm. more of a suggestion to CIG that says, right. hey, exactly. uh, and, and, and it could be written in a way that even you write it in a way that uh, helps some uh, American players become more sympathetic to what's going on. Now, some people are going to say mm-hmm. I could care less, but somebody could post say, hey, you know, we've noticed we have a lot of people coming into using UV servers during this last patch. You know, CIG, is there something that could be done to, right. even if it's temporary, till we get past this hump we're dealing with with 318, right? Mm-hmm. That, that's, and CIG always talks about, yes, yeah, great to identify a problem, but it's even more helpful when we can help bring solutions, right, to the table. Maybe they could, you know, maybe somebody, I'm sure that they know that there's some stressors going on. But uh, again, this also maybe just be a chronic player who just that day had a bad day and proceeded to just right. go rant on Spectrum. But, I, but I'm saying, I think that the argument could be still well made uh, for people, well, regardless of server, because like the Korean, ser- not the Korean servers, the Asian servers, they have a lower population amount than the other servers mm-hmm. too. They don't do the full 150 or whatever it is. I think they do a maximum of 100 or something like that. Something like that, yeah. 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 yeah that's and Prisoner, point. you did get me on that. South America and Antarctica do not have servers, so thank you. Oh, okay. that's too bad. Antarctica, yeah. dang nabbit. I was, I know. I was you know, looking like forward to getting on that know, one. Three or four players that are down there. <laughs> I get on that server and RP. <laughs> I don't care about latency I and do. I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that was a good one, guys. Thank you guys that for that. Good. Thank you. Yeah. That was uh, great. All right. Let's hit on the next one here. We've got more stuff to cover here. Uh, this is a deep one. I know you said you had some thoughts on this one. Um, I see this is by Leonin. We've had some stuff on here from by Leonin before. I see no good reason to keep my vulture. Now, guys, this is a long one. So it's longer than what's on the screen. So just kind of go along with me here. I'm going to read it. Uh, I've been looking forward to salvage gameplay for a very long time, gone through all these years of pushbacks and delays and speculation. And now that I'm actually here, it's disappointing. It's boring. There's no depth or skill to it. Even the profits aren't all that good. I had hoped for something a little more in depth than shooting at dead holes with another laser beam. Pew, pew, pew seems to be all the gameplay we actually get. Hull scraping has zero depth. You click the mouse on, move it around a hall panel that's it you get up and out of your seat every couple minutes because apparently nobody could figure out how to install a conveyor belt or remote tractor beam in the cargo bay basically engineering principles seem to always be missing during the ship design we're told star citizen is set 900 years in the future but the technology is worse than the early 1900s and the same issue goes for many other ships including those using manned turrets for some stupid reason Sure, you could make the lasers wider wider apart, closer together, or flip uh, which axis they happen to be on, but I wouldn't call that depth of gameplay. It serves little actual purpose, doesn't significantly change the speed or, or ease of scraping, and there's no need to even do it. Unlike mining, where at the very least you need to constantly pay attention and control your laser power. There's no cutting of wrecks. Sure, that may come later, but what's the point in cutting a wreck apart if you're just going to... Uh, laser beam at all anyways. And as far as I can tell, there's really no reason once component equipment plugging is added as shown in the Tractor Factor ISC to use a dedicated salvage ship over literally any ship with a bigger cargo hold. The Vulture doesn't even have a dedicated space for components. So you're fighting between RMC and components taking up your cargo hold. And either way, you aren't fitting very many. It could literally load eight times as much of the cargo components reclaimed junk in, I'm sorry, I could literally load eight times as much cargo or components reclaimed junk in my Mercury as I could in the Vulture. And, and even a Cutlass or Nomad has more actual usable cargo space. So what's the point? Why keep a dedicated salvage ship that really doesn't even do its own job that well? Not to mention probably one of the most boring ships I've ever flown in the game. It's slow, it's clunky, it has zero combat value, the entire contribution of this ship to its, its the gameplay loop is point and click, get a few credits. Boom. That's it. Woo! That was a long read. Mm-hmm. All right, DK. Oh, boy, we got a line already. DK, I'm, you want me to bring them? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to bring them in. We're going to gonna, 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 we're gonna bring in, uh, we'll bring, well, we'll go to the same order again. It's the same people. Let's bring in Pops. Pops, you there? It, yeah, yes, I am. All righty, what you got? 
Right. Okay. I'm gonna tell you to bring Kai was first. But oh, Kai was first. Yeah, Kai was first. All right, then I'll go in reverse order. All right, I'll bring Kai in. He's, he's being a gentleman. <laughs> All right, I was reading. Sorry, I couldn't see who came in first. Guy, Pops, Pops declined to you. All right, I was reading. Sorry, I couldn't see who came in first. And we're looping through your speaker. Hello? Yep. We're looping. to you. Okay, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Oh, crap. This thing again. I got to try to figure out how to make it do speaker. All right, so, um, yes, here we go. There you go. Now I can hear you, too. Cool. Um, <laughs> so, my question with love and respect to this brother is, are you new? Uh, <laughs> Because phase one of mining in Star Citizen was kind of like, meh. It was, it was okay, mm -hmm. but it wasn't great. Mm -hmm. We're now on like phase 19 of mining and every damn iteration of this game, they add a new level of complexity and things you can do and mm -hmm. this, that, and the other and whatever. That makes it more of a loop. I think if anything, I would point with love and compassion to mining for new players to say, hey, look, yes, your loop, tier zero of your loop might be underwhelming. Wait for tier five, because as it keeps growing and getting more and more complex, um, you may like what you like. Or, but here's the thing, you're a grown up. If you want to be dumb and sell your shit now and then later on have to rebuy it at a loss, that's on you. You you make yourself happy. Go, go, go rock out however makes your freak flag fly but like just understand that this is the process for everything okay. mm -hmm. if you don't like it because you're like it's going too slow for me okay yeah. i can have sympathy for that argument but the argument of tier zero of x game loop doesn't feel full-fledged why would i even want to play it my comment again is are you new yeah mm -hmm. all right I'm out. <laughs> yeah no problem kai thank you for that it's a good point um you know DK, I, I kind of feel the same way a little bit here. Uh, anybody who's been around any length of time knows the tier zero is never anything to gauge on. We've got a right. bunch of new people who've come into Test Squadron, and we constantly have to preach. Don't judge the game for where it is now. You know, mm -hmm. even, even something fully fleshed. We thought mining was fleshed out. A few weeks so ago, they told us, oh, we got some new stuff we're adding. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, and that's like, right. and like Kai said, we're at like number seven or eight as to what they've implemented from, you know, everything from consumables to this, to that, to different mining mm -hmm. heads, blah, blah. And so, I, I, and I hate to say that the fact that they made a comparison between mining and, and salvaging where it is right now is not a fair judgment to me. Right. I don't know. What do you think? I don't, I don't no, think. No, I, 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 I agree. It's not a fair judgment. It's just, you know, tier zero, like you said, tier zero of everything is just basic it's getting the mechanic in place yeah foundation groundwork just getting it started we just now got to a point of soft death on ships where we actually have the capability to start salvaging and then the ability to uh to actually scrape the hull yeah that's that's new that yeah. you know you don't do that with mining right now we don't do that in combat you don't do that mm -hmm. in, you know trading all of the other ones this is new, so they have to get the mechanic in yeah. place and the ability to make the, the mechanic work. Next, right. we move on to the other steps. Right. Function comes next, and blah, 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 up until tier 20, tier, you know, 89. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. It just the foundation has to go in. First. And then we'll start moving on. Same thing happened with mining. Yeah. Everybody saw mining. Same thing happens with bounty hunting. We yeah. see that, you know, things just take time to improve. I'm glad um, I'm glad you use that term. I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. I'm glad no, you no, use no, that term it. foundation because that's what mm -hmm. people have got to see a lot of times when things come in the game. And I understand when somebody's new, they don't know. They don't know how that right. process happens. But these are just the foundation. They're nowhere mm -hmm. near. And I, I emphasize that nowhere near. If if you look at the track record, and Kai said this earlier, how, are you new? Because if you look at the track record of how CIG is developing, you see mm -hmm. that there's everything comes in shallow, but then the depth comes in. So right. just give it time. Right. You know, I know it's, I know we want it. We've been waiting on it, but it just, it's just not the way it works in development. And mm -hmm. it, it does take time. Let's get Fist in. Fist, you there? What's happening? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Everybody. Yes. All righty. Okay. So to the point of this gentleman, and like I said, I'm not going to beat up on him. You know, I'm not mm -hmm. going to do like a guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think, like you said again, a lot of times, you know, like a person coming into the, I don't know, it is if he, if they're new, that 
are they experiencing something that's not fully fleshed out? Right well, wait, let, let me stop you now. This person says, I've been waiting for years, so they ain't new. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, so are they? So I, I can eliminate that off the, okay. ta off the right. table for you. Okay, so then I'm, uh, okay, so let's, 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 let me pull out my billy club then. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to do that. So, I was just saying, I was okay. just letting you know, you didn't have to worry about giving him the benefit of the doubt that he's new. That's okay. all I was all just letting you know. Off, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> you buffoon. Excuse me, I'm so slain. Let me stop. <laughs> but no, wait a minute. So if you've been waiting for years and you understand the progress of the game, right, then you would understand the levels to where each career develops, right? You would hope. Mm -hmm. You would hope, right. I, I'm, I'm, I'm being real because we've seen what they've done with mine and mine ain't even mm -hmm. finished yet. We didn't even gotten to mm -hmm. my baby. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, we haven't even gotten to Ugly Betty and that's, that's, we haven't even understand. I mean, that's probably, um, when that comes in, that'll probably be at tier zero, mm -hmm. you know? So then you've got to think about, okay, if he's talking about from what I heard, cause I apologize, I was a little bit distracted mm -hmm. doing so many things too, but if he's talking about, okay, I do this and do this and there's no really excitement to it, man, wait till you have NPCs and other things coming in to come and attack you. Yeah. Yeah. We not we 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 don't realize that, that like sometimes do we forget because me and my dad were just talking about it the other day like do we forget that quantum or quanta is supposed to be coming into the game right mm -hmm. so yeah that's not there yet yeah I think that they're focusing in on the mechanics part and and to your point when you talked about how this is just the scratching the surface you know the tier zero and he tried to make some comparisons here right he talks about the components versus, you know, pulling material. Is there room in my ship? I might, and I could be wrong, Fist, but the impression I get is that there's still people who look at this game as, I want to be able to go and do such and such. And their mm -hmm. such and such doesn't always meter up with what Chris Roberts is designing for such and such. Right. There's a reason why the Vulture's cargo hold is only so big. That's deliberate. <laughs> Of course. And it's deliberate uh, again. because he so wants so then, you, he wants me to mm. call Dark Knight and say, DK, bring your freelancer out here. I've got a good load. I want you to cargo this stuff in for me. That that See, it's not intended okay. for me to have the ship hull of a C2 so that now, I'm doing this all by myself. And then when I'm I do up. get a ship like the C2 Fist, it's the Reclaimer. Okay. And when I do that, I ain't supposed to be out there by myself doing it. Now I got to bring five people. You see what I'm saying? I, I got to pull out the billy club. Like I said again, mm -hmm. this is goes back to sometimes, and I get it. This is, I've seen it. This is not just, in, this is not, this is not um, exclusive to Star Citizen's mentality of gamers. This is in all games I've seen where people want certain things that they want in a game. And I've seen it where it's like as if they want a one size fits all. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, that's unfortunately, you know, you have to do your due diligence to understanding the game. Let me ask you a question. What would be your solution mm -hmm. to the problem he put up there? You run across a wreck, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's a big wreck. You've got a lot of good components and a lot of good material. What's the fix for you? What would you say the fix for that would be? And your vulture can only take so much. What's the fix? Call good friends. That's one fix, right? The other mm -hmm. fix is you got a hard decision to make. Which one do I take? Which one is more exactly lucrative? What do okay, I need? So, so, what do I need? Okay, it doesn't so mean you're going to take all question, everything. Right. It, that's the same. So, so, mm. so, 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 let's change how real life works then. If I got a pickup yeah, truck oh. and I want to go to the store to go get um, so many mounds of, of mounds of cinder blocks to go build this house, but my pickup truck can only you know take twenty pallets, mm -hmm. you know, then uh, what do I got to go do? Yeah. Bring a bigger truck, get some friends, have a delivery, whatever. There right? You, you gotta, go. you gotta, you gotta make a decision. <laughs> there you go. Right. <laughs> this is how it works. Right. 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 Stop trying to reinvent real life. Right. Well, you know, <laughs> and, 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 I, and I, you know, don't get me wrong. I think this does go to the thing we were mentioning earlier. And again, we're not trying to beat up on Leona, but we are saying. I'm just messing, but no, I'm no, you're not. No, your your point is good. Probably. I'm just saying. That, we have to be careful that what we want to play in the right. game matches up to what Chris Roberts wants. And we still don't know right. completely what Chris wants, but we do get hints of it, right? right. We of do course. get the idea. Mm -hmm. the, the, the predicament, it, he is creating a predicament. And the predicament is, what do I do? Do I go for components? Do I take 50% components, 50% material? 
Is material more valuable in this system that I'm in right now? It's better for me to take repair material because components are less worth it or are the components crap? So therefore, don't you know, I mean, these are the predicaments that are being created. It's not designed so I can snatch every mm-hmm. component out, all the material out and go back to my base. It's deliberately right. not that de- then, designed. Then guess that what? And guess what? Guess what the game would be for that career? Mm. Guess what only ship you would see out there? Yeah, right. right. Is the vulture. Right, mm-hmm. right, right. Okay. Good point, Fist. I'm digging it, brother. Put that bully club away, brother. You'll be all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye. He's so okay. crazy. All right, let me bring Pops in. We've got Sir Togi waiting, too. Pops, you there? Yeah, yes, I am. Yes, sir. What you got? Yeah, well, uh, first of all, I think this is a kind of ring the alarm mm-hmm. post. Because, like you said, he's been in the game. He's been for years. So I think he just wants to bring attention to it and say, hey, I'm hungry for more, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. f- forget this and, and that and the other. But I do want to make an excellent point. Mm-hmm. Uh, Captain Jones in chat brings a point that we've never had before. Mm-hmm. Crafting. Mm-hmm. This mm-hmm. came along with crafting. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I think that um, it, it's, it, it's it, you know, it's more than just chopping ships. So, you know, you can imagine uh, when they come up with the next one, what, you know, who else, maybe some simple five guns and things like that. And it's going to get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper as we go along. And so it's going to be a lot more than um, what we have today. um, Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people have missed that pops that crafting Mm -hmm. was introduced in here. And, you know, for those of us who were in PTU Mm -hmm. at the time, you could only craft the multi-tool. And then mm-hmm. when they finally released it, there were like five items that are on that you that you can now craft. And they told us on one of the ISCs, they said, now that we're introducing our first tier of crafting. So we know that CI and people have been speculating for years, will we be able to do crafting long. in the game? And yeah. now we finally heard them officially say, yeah, we like, we're going to be going that way and beyond the pioneer. You know, there's going to be this dynamic of players being mm-hmm. able to make things you know what what type of careers will come out of it we don't know but you're right pops that was a it wasn't just yeah. about this vulture and this scraping we have to really be paying attention to what else are they introducing in the right. process I mean, you to. can make money selling uh multi-tools you go down there to brio's break yard with scooter hey you sell them a multi-tool for twice the prices go down there with scooter go down to scoomer down on damar damer 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 I'm on the surface, DK, mm-hmm. and I'm I'm doing something down there. I know you're up, up above, and my yeah. multi-tool, I lose it, whatever. All I got to do is come up to you while you're yeah. salvaging and wait for you to make me one, and here you mm-hmm. go. And right. there. And now I have a, did they, now, when we were in the uh, uh, PTU, mm-hmm. now, we made a lot of money. And that was dealing with trying to get in the server, dealing with the, the um, and, and also Griff's fantastic flying. He got us out of trouble when yeah. the person uh, came and attacked us. We made quite a bit of money in what? What was it? I, I only think we got maybe not even an hour. I don't know how long we were out. Right? I don't mm-hmm. think it was an hour. Yeah, but you know, and, but the problem with that pops is that we're all we're dealing with play money right now. You know. Yeah. We make good money, so but it's all play, sure buddy. What he means, yeah, I'm not sure what he means by it's not lucrative. Yeah, um, well, he's probably doing it in compare. Like when you full so a full vulture, and I got we got we get to Sir Togi. When you do a full vulture, when I say full, I'm talking about packed pox. Like when you fix every mm-hmm. square in there, you end up walking away with about 150 grand, right? Roughly mm-hmm. about 150 grand. There are some other things that people will do now, mind you. If you go out with a prospector and you come back with a full load of quantanium, you're making 350 grand. Okay. Right. So it's mm-hmm. relational. It depends on what it is you're doing. Now, there's a lot more work involved with mining. So to earn 350 mm-hmm. w- makes way more sense to me than right now the way a vulture is, right? But right. the vote that's right. that's just right now with scraping. Now, will a vulture because remember when we saw the trailer for the vulture, we also saw grinding pop up, right? We saw the tractor beams, we saw a grinding mm-hmm. material. So is there an ingestion area where that grinded material goes that's separate from the scraping area? Maybe when the grinding is working, you might walk away making two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. You know right. what I'm saying? It, right. We don't know, so it's too right. early to gauge anything about economies and numbers right now because right. none of that is in cement right now. Right, exactly. And somebody and, talked about that in his comments. Sorry, go ahead. 
Go ahead, Pop. No, I was just I was just gonna ask uh, uh, about the you know the deeper part to the loop of it to come along. Do we know because like uh, mining, we didn't know it was gonna go to refining. Will we have to go to right. refining uh, process? With um, with scra with the salvage, with, yeah, with the scrape, with salvaging, yeah. salvaging. Yeah. Are you selling it? Where are you doing? We don't know any of that. Like you said, the so back end repair the material as opposed yeah. to yeah, raw. Yeah. You can process and get better material. Yeah. yeah, and they may possibly come up with a, a buddy ship. You know, you go out to mm -hmm. as you hull scrape, you pass that off to to that ship, just like they did with mining. So I'm mm -hmm. quite sure that that that's probably in the work, yeah. as I would guess. Yeah. So, Good points, yeah. Pops. All right, okay. buddy. Thank you much. All right. All right. Last but not least, we'll get Sir Togi and then we'll hit our next subject. Mm -hmm. Sir Togi, you there? What up? Hey, how are you? Hello. I'm, I'm chilling. Good. Right. On a Saturday. That's the way to do it. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna take away uh, CID security blanket on this one. <laughs> okay. Pretty much spot on. Uh -huh. Which is not only boring. Mm -hmm. but it's designed badly mm, okay and my like the idea that you have a one person ship mm -hmm. i mean because it's not like there's a second seat in there mm -hmm. that you shoot at a side of a ship for three minutes mm -hmm. and then get out of your chair and walk down a ladder and tractor be in a box and then walk back up and do it again mm -hmm. That's just bad game design. That is boring. <laughs> it is tedious. So let me ask you a question. For you, it's boring and tedious. For Leona, it's boring and tedious. For other players, they're enjoying it. So where's the balance in that? There are other players who have oh, that, no the, the problem with is, it. Is, the balance is definitely if more people enjoy it than don't enjoy it, then, you know, then screw me, I guess. No, I wouldn't like, say screw you. No, I, I think your point's I, valid. I think your point's valid. I just think it's a situation of every career is going to be a matter of what people enjoy doing. For example, DK wants to do this, the, the Genesis, right? There are some people yeah. who've told me I could care less about flying people around in this universe. Oh, yeah. Regardless no, totally. of how much money it is. You know what I'm saying? They could they care say, less about it. All right. And I'll but say, I mean, I'm having a great time with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not an objective you know, thing, the mechanic objectively is not boring for anyone. It's subjectively boring to people. Yeah, it's, it's just the, and that's okay. What they've done with salvage, with mm -hmm. that specific mechanic, mm -hmm. would be like having an E1 and, oh, I've got a, you know, I'm, I'm the pilot, and then I've got to go back and, like, punch everybody's ticket in at the same time. At the beginning, and, I will. And you know there are people because, who would enjoy that. You know, See, that's just it. See, that, that's, that's just my point. I, I, I would enjoy say, that. I, <laughs> but, yeah. but to your point, to your point, yeah. I want to see it improve, but yes. I know that tier one is going to be can't judge it. boring in yeah. a sense. My, my and can't team is going to walk on a ship, yep. sit down. I'm going to move him from one place to another. I mean, if anything, and that's tier going one. to be it. You know, what, what, tier one what about is tier the one? most important thing to judge. No, why would you say that? Look at tier mining. That is the look at how people. Most look, important thing to judge. But Togi, remember when mining came out? People tried to judge mining back then at tier one, and mining yes, changed and dramatically. Why did it improve yeah. exactly because mm -hmm. of feedback. But that's where right. we are now, right? right. That's that's right. why it has to be judged now. Oh, and I'm not saying don't judge it now. I, I'm just saying I, I said what I said was his judgment about to compare it to mining was wrong. I agree with you 100% right, that perfect the perfect thing to compare it to because even mining tier one was more exciting than this and had less of the system, you know, less of the core mechanical issues than this does. All right. It had a, a balance of skill between balancing that temperature of the rock mm -hmm. and you weren't getting mm -hmm. out of your seat every three minutes to change out an ore bag. Okay. I, I would. Get, no, I get what you're saying. I would there. agree. I would agree there. Um, I want right, to add so. that um, the reason salvage is now just coming in is because of all the new tech they needed to put in first. Oh, I am. I am yeah. positive that is and why that whole soft depth part of being able to have something to salvage yep. probably was the hardest thing. So I kind of give tier zero a little bit of a pass because they're still working on how this is going to work. I think they're going to improve whole scraping for you. I think it's going to make it much easier. I, much I, I, it's, not, I mean, it's not even involved. just whole scraping. Like I understand. He's about the like, process. He's about the whole process, process of salvaging. 
Yeah, is, is of, the issue and not getting up, like, getting up I out of the seat, going the down reclaimer. the ladder. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. the reclaimer is a big ship. It's right. going to take mm-hmm. a lot of people to run. Mm-hmm. Makes perfect sense. Right. Oh, yeah. All right, yeah. like the vulture should be loading what it's hull scraping into a single container, mm-hmm. like it's you know, or or saddlebag, okay. like a prospector. I get that. I see what and, you're saying. And, and either that, remove yeah. cargo room. Mm-hmm. Or, or you know, or, or something. Yeah. All right. That's but the way point. that it is designed, I think they're going to have to redo it into the future mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it's just a bad design. I mm. like. Uh, let me tell you what I thought about the design, and I would agree with you about the saddlebag mm-hmm. issue. I I, here's my my thing that I was thinking, and I could be wrong, Toby, completely. Um, I thought that the movement of boxes in the back was necessary, and I'll tell you why I why it didn't bother me. Because I felt like there needed to be a moment of vulnerability for the vulture player. When mm-hmm. you're out mining, and if you're just sitting in that chair and that's all you're doing is running the, the lasers, um, there is a moment of vulnerability when I have to get out of that seat and go move. Now, I agree, going down the ladder and stuff drives me crazy. Yeah, Going I mean, to the yeah, back that's... doesn't. You know what I mean? Going to the back doesn't. And, and so for that moment, when I'm leaving and I'm out there working solo, I've also created a moment where there's a bit of danger going on because I've stepped away from my sensors, everything that's going on to go move this, these two boxes. And even if it just takes a minute, you and I both know that anything could happen within that minute's yeah. time. But I agree okay. with you about the physicality, leaving the chair, going down the ladder, going to the back, uh, moving the boxes doesn't bother me that much. I, the conveyor belt thing to me, my problem with that is, is that when it's a conveyor belt, at some point, let's say those conveyor belt, the most it should be able to bring out is three boxes at a time. The boxes aren't gonna to jump to the other side of the cart. I'm still gonna to have to move those boxes over. That physicality doesn't bother me. Now, some people have played or with the idea- themselves. Or stack themselves. <laughs> now, some people have played with the idea of that if a second player was in there with you playing and was down there, which is another thing that could happen. If, if yeah. DK said, Griff, I'm going out to do again, some mining I and mean, I got nothing to do, would I go out and hang out and sit in the back of his cargo bay to help him? Maybe, I might, it, but it's not enough to draw me there or, to do it. Because of the profitability. Yeah, that'd be pretty boring, too. Well, it wouldn't be or boring, but the profitability's not there. If the profitability right. was there, you put a chair back there for me, I'll sit back there and yank them boxes for him so we can work twice as fast. And I'll, now, and I'll make money. Um, but the profitability's and, not there for me to do it right now. I mean, and, the other um, thing you've got to look at is other starter, single-person mm-hmm, careers, uh, industrial ships mm-hmm. don't have that moment of vulnerability. Yeah. Where's that moment of vulnerability for the prospect? Well, let me tell you about the it prospect and later. Mining gadgets. Well, mining gadgets is one of them. The other thing is, is that they, what they haven't right, included... I'll give you mining gadgets. Yeah, what I they have... Mining gadgets exist. And... Yeah, but everybody doesn't use them. For some people, they stay in the seat the whole time. You're right. They, they don't never have to step away. I still don't know the complete operation of the... Uh, of the... Um, of the prospector, because you know, they've talked about the prospector at some point being able to filter because there's panels back in the back. I don't know if that ever is going to come to life where prospector mm-hmm. people would go in the back and do a dump of some type or something. I don't know, but you're right. That is something to pay attention to. And I agree with you 100%. If there's a time for us to bark about anything that doesn't make the ship a Frankenstein yep. ship that does everything, but also right makes now. the process better, mm-hmm. I think, Togi, I think you're 100% right. I think yeah. I think that is something we should they should evaluate. Bring it up. And yeah. even if it's the minority, right? Because yeah. the majority, I mean, if you love certain things, sometimes when you love them, you'll accept yeah. them no matter what way they come. You know what I mean? Versus if I mean, it's people, being people critical. People love the Aries Ion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. And there's something Good about point. making money as a multi-crew with the Vulture. You'll bring a friend along and either they can sit in back. Maybe they can, like you said, bring a, their freelancer, rent their freelancer and bring it with you and start moving those yeah, boxes and- from the ship when they get permissions to hopefully be able to do that. You know, I, I, I don't know if it works at a party. Citizen Kate and her friends did it um, and tried to move I mean, the, the other thing that they might be able to do is just make it so that it will fill a container that's larger than one SEU. Yeah. I, and I agree with that. Yeah. yeah. If they can make, yeah. you know, if you can get... Uh, you know, what, I mean, again, six, with the Prospector, what, it's got four saddlebags? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be so, interesting. So, you know, I mean, they would still have that whole thing of having to remove the saddlebags. Mm-hmm. But it's not like 16 or 17 boxes mm-hmm. that you have to do twice. That would be interesting. They put saddlebags underneath it, let them drop, and then just use the inner area for cargo and components. That would be... Yep. Hmm, and that's fine. Other, get the other sizes area of, of containers. I don't know. vulnerability for the Vulture might be when you get out to salvage components. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're going to have to EVA out. EVA that out. would be a lot closer analog mm-hmm. to using the mining gadgets. Good point. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. 
There's always room maybe for improvement. They a, um, maybe they need a mid-size multi-crew salvaging ship that kind of fits the needs where the vulture kind of falls short in some of those ways. And I mean, and that's kind of that's honestly the thing that I am the most afraid of mm -hmm. is that instead of fixing, fixing this, they'll do the something vulture, else. They're gonna sell us. I think, fix, yeah, I? well, I put it this way. I think the fix, I think that these are good ideas and things that they should consider. I think that, like you said, DK, I think the mid side is going to come anyway, just like how the mole came. Yeah. I think you're going to mm -hmm. get that no matter what between that hopefully and the freaking reclaimer. The yeah, and, and hopefully they learn some things from it too, though. I mean, in the yeah. sense of like building up from this to the next one, because mm -hmm. I think, I again, if you, if you love doing certain things, it's easier to overlook, you know, where things fall short, you know, uh, but at the same time, there are people who, you know, who do like what's going on right now with it, but it is still early. Let's just hope that CIG does here, you know, good criticisms and things that they could do to refine it. And they surprise yeah. us, you know, maybe there's some stuff that they just had to do right now because it's just the way it is. I don't even think that that doggone yeah, crafting I mean, thing is going to stay on the vulture, to be honest with you. I think that's just there now as a test. Yeah. I, I yeah, don't think I mean, it's going to stay there. Only mm. at crafting is probably a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's you good know, stuff. It's, yeah, you're you're basically buying stuff with a different currency. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you ain't lying. Yeah. <laughs> it's a vending machine. Not yeah. so much crap. I ain't lying. Yeah. All right, Sir Togi. Thanks for pulling All off right. the blanket, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah. All right. Good ideas. Those are some good suggestions yeah, you is. brought in. Good Very stuff. Very good ideas, man. All righty. Okay, we are going to leave the world of Spectrum, you guys. How are we doing on time? For the best, Woo! Shoot. We're running late a little Thank bit today. You. Let's get on this. We're going to. <laughs> we're going to. <laughs> this next one. We're going to is in Reddit. Good old Reddit. You can always trust Reddit, right? Oh, All right. Fun. This is an interesting question here. Mm -hmm. How would you change game funding? DK, this has come up before. You know, some people have said that they just don't like the way CIG raises money. Some people call it unethical. Some people say it's just ripping folks off and all types of stuff. Mm -hmm. So this person presents an interesting question, right? Um, and they say, I frequent several game subreddits, and one of the frequent complaints that comes up is everything should be earnable with in-game currency, including strictly com cosmetic items. These comments are often followed by an even more insistent charging for in-game items is predatory due to FOMO, fear of missing out, etc. Mm -hmm. My question is to the SC community, what reasonable options exist for a game company to fund ongoing development costs in an MMO? This is especially relevant for free to play or low cost of entry games. So don't forget guys, you guys can join us in for the conversation. We would love Bring to hear it. from you. Sir Togi came in today and surprised us. We're happy for you guys to come in and share with us as well. Let's bring in Pops in space and we'll see you as I say. Pops, you there? Yes, I am. Okay, what you got? Yeah, I uninstalled the game just because it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> no. Okay. Hey, um, yeah, our wallets belong to us, and if we want to spend, we can spend. Okay. And that's our choice. Um, as adults, um, we put our credit cards on the line, and um, yeah, that's our choice. Okay. So, Okay. You know, um, as far as, you know, uh, I've invested in something that I believe in uh, from their track record, you know, what they've done from all the information, just like Disco Lando says on his thing, this is a game that you've never seen any other game open their doors as far as it's been open, not saying it's open all the way, because mm -hmm. that would be ridiculous, but you know, I, I believe in it and it's my wallet, it's my dollar, and um, I'm going to enjoy it. Okay. Well, Pops, <laughs> I think, but he's still asking mm. because people feel a certain way about, you know, selling ships and doing this and doing that. He's asking the question, how mm. would you change being able to raise money? Do you think the CIA, in other words, do you think CIG is doing, going the right path with how they're raising money? Or do you think that there's some things they should do differently? Should cosmetic items be free to everybody in the game, no matter what you can earn in the game, or should there be some items that you know you got to drop some cash for mm -hmm. to get right? What are your thoughts on that? Wow. Or do you think that the model's good right now? What do you think? I mean, yeah. The, um, well, I don't know if I can use this word. Um, it's can I use the word crack? Yeah. Can I? Okay, because it's CIG. You know, when they put out their avatar, it's 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 ship crack. It, okay. You know, we get excited. We gotta have it. You know, we it. Oh, what is it? Endorphins. 
It yep. gives us that feeling. The the links just came out the <clears> other day, man. Those seats and the links. Mm. Uh, I mean, that's like booty love to me. You know, okay. the, those seats. Um, I'm excited the 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 way it looks. I hope they come out with a brand new vehicle that <laughs> is just as cool because I'm definitely buying that. Um, <laughs> All right, fair I, enough. Yeah, fair I enough. You think you just think the folks just get caught? The creative part, what they could do, they could add um, maybe something in Flair. Um, mm -hmm. well, I mean, they're doing Flair. They're doing yeah, Flair. I, I grip. That's a that's a tough one. All man. right. Okay. The, raffles. I don't know. All right. I don't know. About raffles. <laughs> Okay, All right. Pops. All right, Pops. We're going to let you go think about that one a little long. Raffles might be a bit of a problem. Yeah. All right, but we're going to we'll bring in fists that, on that one. Thanks, Pops. <laughs> Raffles. Oh, my God. These people will go crazy. All right, let's bring in Fist. Fist, you there? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. I, I second what Pops says, Raffles. We should yeah, right. Get, <laughs> you know, and, 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 and call folks. Matter of fact, no way. Obviously, if they do one even better, let's do bingo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. anyway, no, I, 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 I look at it like this. Okay. I get the question. It is a tough thing to really look at from a marketing view to try to say, okay, well, how should CIG come up with a, a different strategy and ways to funding a game? Well, no, he's not asking that, how. It, he's what, asking, no. he's not saying how. I'm, I'm, okay. He's saying, how would you change funding? Do you think, in other words, do you think CIG's model is good? Do you think there's things they should tweak? Okay. Do you not like the way they raise money? Do you think that they are predatory? You know, what if if you're raising money for a game like this, how would you change it, or would you, or would I, you? Well, okay. Again, it's it's I I I don't think that it's predatory, okay. because for me, like okay, I get. You know, some people may feel that way as far as, you know, it's it, it it's tapping into what people like, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. and, and I can understand that part. But at the same time, too, restraint is still an option. Okay. You know, okay. on the consumer side. So there's not a sense. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say that, you know, like, like I'm not going to be, I'm not going to pull out my Billy Club on this one. But for me, <laughs> I don't think that the business model that they have is bad now is bad because they have to make money somewhere to fund mm -hmm. the project right okay now i'd be damned if i see them go a pay to win scheme mm -hmm. right then we have a problem okay you know what i'm saying okay then we have all of those issues because and, I, and like i said again i am I, I, where at one point in time i was anti-star citizen because of you know a lot of the um information as far as where i came from coming from a lot of uh asian mmos where you see that business model mm -hmm. of pay to win mm -hmm. you know where mm -hmm. somebody can bust out their credit card and be at the top of the um uh, the scoreboard or 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 or, 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 the, or excuse me or, or the game the best gear and basically run the whole game yeah, yeah. you know what i mean yeah. i've I, it, you know I, i've seen that so i i can understand you know the the fears and, and you know the anxieties of you know of a game you know going into that avenue and 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 having that that situation come about but i don't think right now as to where it is mm -hmm. and the reason why i am in this game is because of the business model as i've seen and the design of the game okay you know you can't bring in and just real quick to, to bring in the next person kai and everything you can't buy a two thousand dollar javelin and, and think you're going to run the game mm. that's what made me say oh say what <laughs> So basically, if a person buys a two thousand dollars ship and they think they're just going to get into it and just cruise around the universe and be able to, you know, blow up, you know, <laughs> whatever, and just mm -hmm. run through the game, oh no, this is just a flying paperweight, right, for them, right. That's what made me say, oh, oh, really? That made the difference. For I you. like right. that. Okay. I said, mm -hmm. oh, 
Okay. This balances it out. Okay. You see what I'm saying to, for me? Yeah. And that and that's where I looked at it from. Okay. Fair enough. All right, Fizz. Thank you, my brother. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Always. Good thoughts. Thank you, Chooch, for the 300 bits. Yes, thank you, thank Chooch. You. Good talking to you this morning. Like we and I had a phone call today. He's a good brother. And uh, I'm looking to see you. I'm looking to see you at Citizen Con, Chooch. I want to see you there. And uh, Yo Yo, <laughs> our girl, Yo Yo. Hey, thank yo, you, yo. yo Yo, for sending your wonderful Yo Yo fans over to us today. Thank you guys for joining us. We are um, Soul Voices. And um, you guys make sure y'all check out Yo Yo Meg on Twitch. She's a girl. She does great, great gaming and a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. She's a real sweet person. Um, we're talking about how would you change game funding or should they change game funding? We got one more to bring in. That's going to be Kaizen. And after that, DK, I think you and I are going to be hitting the road. We're going to be kicking rocks, right? We got the, pl the player, yeah, haters, the player haters are going to be coming in to fill in the rest mm -hmm. of the show for us. Kai, Hello. hey, buddy. Hey, hey, much love to Yo-Yo Meg. Hope you and the wife are having a fantastic weekend. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Peace, love, and soul. Uh, okay, so I think... A very important thing that needs to be mentioned whenever you bring up this question, because it's a valid question that people have will have different opinions about, but just to make sure that no one that's new to the project is in any way misled, you have to say every time you bring up this point, everything that is in game that is subscriber only or that you buy or that you this or that you that, you can earn in game the following quarter. So mm -hmm. right now, if you go and do a bunker, sir, you know, uh, uh, what do you call it? Subscriber flare and this special this and this special that and all these other things from last quarter are in the game. Mm -hmm. Any ship that you can buy right now with your credit card, uh, or sorry, that you could buy last quarter with your credit card, you can buy right now in the game. So just mm -hmm. to set that point straight, you know, yes, FOMO is a thing, and it's part of marketing and advertising around the world. And every company ever who's interested in making money <laughs> is guilty of it to some extent. Mm -hmm. But a wise consumer knows that with regard to this project, those things will be in the game the right. following quarter that you can earn. Right. Mm -hmm. So, like, that premise absolutely has to be mentioned every time you raise this issue. Very good. I personally... And I've been on record, I've talked to you about it before, Griff. Mm -hmm. I'm not the hugest fan of the funding model of this game. Mm -hmm. um, I have some concerns. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm curious as to once the game actually is released, you know, CIG has been uh, on record as making statements of, you know, they won't be selling stuff the way they are doing now. Mm -hmm. It's going to change, it's going to transition. Um, you know, there's there's the funding model of going, you know, uh, subscription, mm -hmm. which they've already said they're not going to do. But a lot of things they've said, and it's been a decade, so I think you kind of have to reset expectations closer to launch and kind of see what the mm -hmm. situation is there. Mm -hmm. We've seen plenty of companies go with loot boxes and other things that are, are very out of vogue right now. I think mm -hmm. if you if you and I don't think that CIG would ever be so um, uh, flat footed as to go the loot box route, and I don't think they'll go the NFT route. Those, mm -hmm. I think those things are very, very rightly so, yeah. out of favor with gamers right now. And I think they're much more in tune to things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to see them maybe have some kind of seasonal model, season pass, where it allows you to unlock a lot of stuff. There's tons of games. You know, I play New World. I play Conan Exiles. Both of those have season passes. Mm -hmm. um, there's lots of things that they can do. Um, I think you guys had a fantastic program just within the last week or two. What was talking about news programs and stuff like uh, uh, like uh, on the Sunday show, mm -hmm. uh, talking about uh, uh, like news programs and broadcasting in the verse. Mm -hmm. And I think that you could seriously generate revenue by hiring a couple of people to sit in an office and review submissions of video of like, hey, here's an advert for my business, for my, mm. for my, uh, um, uh, an advert for my uh, uh, salvage business. Here's mm. an advert for my org. Mm. Here's an advert for my big race that I'm going to do on Daymar next week mm. that is not the Daymar rally. It's this other thing, but right. like we want to get of, of whatever in the verse. I think they could generate tons of revenue off of that. They've mm -hmm. already clearly stated 
that they're looking to generate revenue off the back end, i.e. they're looking to fill out a bunch of game loops and a bunch of uh, systems and services with meshing and, and how they hand off stuff in the servers or whatever and license that to other game companies Thank so that you, you could basically that. Mm -hmm. so, so that you, you could basically have like Star Citizen, but it's all cowboys and Indians. Star Citizens, but it's all samurai. Star <laughs> Citizens, but it's like it's like elves and, and warlocks and shit or whatever. Like, you know, oh, it's Harry Potter. Star Cit like, there's lots of things that they can do and are going to do. Um, I'm, I'm sort of also it like, also don't, don't forget. They have a, an idea of a funding model for, in addition to this, which is going to be the MMO. I think they plan on indefinitely for the forever future, churning out squadron 42 so it's going to be squadron 42 chapters mm -hmm. a through z start mm -hmm. squadron 42 chapters the next <clears throat> the next the next and i think that those can provide uh, a, a good churn of revenue in addition to uh, a constant on-ramp of new players to the verse which again you know there's i mean there's things you could do i i would not put anything past these guys these guys are crafty yeah. i would not put it past these guys to have billboards in the verse that they're selling ad space to mm -hmm. coca-cola mm -hmm. and 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 you know uh uh whatever yeah you know to where it's like hey man uh, you, you, you come over here and get buy some budweiser or buy some, <laughs> like, whatever it is yeah there's so many uh uh sources of income yeah yeah, yeah. possibilities you're right all right, yep. Kai. Thank you, brother. All right. It's good Later, stuff. Brother. Yeah, I remember that did come up before we were making the comparison about uh, Second Life, DK, talking mm -hmm. about how this is real-life advertising in the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, last but not least, we normally hear from DK after this. Uh, we've got Fastcart, who's going to join us. Uh, FC, you there? FC! Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, yeah. What you got, bud? So the question is, how would you change game funding? Kai almost beat me to it, but he only talked about it. So mm. here's my idea. Instead of pledging for ship, you make it so uh, people buy NFT. Also, uh, invest in all the crowdfunding money that you currently have in the project into Dogecoin. So instead of being supportive of the project, we'll all be investors. It'll be revolutionary. No one will ever see it coming. Happy Fool's Day. He, he, like, he only said this because <laughs> we can't give him the 30K. See, if he came on the other half of the show, he'd have got the 30K, but he oh, knew to get in now God. while he could. So, <laughs> you know. Out, yeah, you? yeah. Oh, April Fool, Happy Lord. April Fool's Day, Fast Card. Thank you happy much. April Fool's Day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. DK, uh, any thoughts about the funding? Because this has yeah, come up before I about do. what CIG will do in the future. We know what they're yeah. doing now, but any thoughts about that? No, when it comes to or even now, funding, or even now, whatever you think. Yeah, when it comes to future funding, even Kai did make a you know a good point that uh, you know there's thousands of different ways they can make money. I had even thought of a few, um, and one guy in the comments made in, in the comments of the uh, of the Reddit post made a good one. He's like, "Shell updated insurance for a couple dollars, you know, mm. and, you know, for your ship or extended insurance or something like that that mm. you can buy for a couple dollars, paints and." You know, flares you could put in your ship, a yeah. chair, a poster, you know, little things like that. You know, other yeah. companies, you know, FDev does it um, to, to help support FDev. But I, I think a lot of, you know, there's a lot of misgiving or a lot of forget, forgetfulness about CIG is not only just Star Citizen and Squadron 42. There's a lot more to CIG than just those two IPs. Yeah. Um, they've got other technology that they can license out. Kai mentioned a few. Um, but there are there are ways that CIG as a company can make money outside of Robert Space Industries, which is making Star Citizen and Squadron 42. Yeah. So it, Robert Space Industries gets its main funding from uh, from crowdfunding through crowdfunding. Um, I would say that CIG as a company gets some of that money, but I think a lot more money is also coming from outside influences for CIG's purposes. Yeah. And I think there are a few people, but it's not like a stockholder type of thing. I think it's really more of kind of a partnership. I don't know how it all works. Mm -hmm. I don't work for CIG. Um, but I think CIG, I, I think they have so many different ways of making money. Selling ads, like you said, that you know, to, to an organization, they pay 20 bucks a month to have their ad shown it, you know, at by point, um, you know, just little things like that, you know, to, to, to make, 
income and and they don't have to go to subscription route you know they can there's many many different ways so i i think there's a you know just kind of putting it towards a uh you know it's always about selling ships it, it doesn't always have to be at some point in time their development is going to you know get to a point where the primary stuff is already done in the secondary development of skins and you know things you can buy you know in the store you know to decorate your apartment or your ship or something like that those kinds of things will start popping out like you wouldn't believe they they'll they'll just keep churning those things out because all of the major developments done so yeah. I, I think that uh, to the point of the question you know would we change anything and i think that it's been interesting over the last 10 years watching them walk the tightrope based upon what's been happening in the industry kai reflected back to uh talked about how there are certain things now that are not popular when this all got started loot boxes was a thing right people mm -hmm. were into that and spending tons of money on it but then it went sour and 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 you know now that it's it's, it's kind of like the thing that somebody says loot boxes you know you frown about it now but back then people were going crazy spending money on loot boxes mm -hmm. cig mm -hmm. has said some things that i think that they their commitment i think would do it would doom the project there are certain things that i think that they've said now don't get me wrong things that can always change but there are right. some things they've said that are literally a bond between them and the community one of them is the fact that they would never do subscriptions. I think that that would just, I think it would kill the game. I think that people's attitude would be, I have already spent X number of dollars on this game over the past 10 right. years. And now you're right. going to tell me I can't play it because I have to pay a monthly fee. That just, mm -hmm. that would not wash by any means. Um, CIG has talked about the fact that the way we buy ships now will change in the future. We don't know. Most of us have speculated that it'll probably go to being able to buy starter ships with real money. But after that, you know, it'll, you won't be able to buy big ships and stuff like that with cash. Now that may or may not happen. You mentioned about being able to buy those side items, you know, all of the, the, the flair and things of that nature, decorations and things like that. That's kind of built into gamer psyche. Now it's not something you got to convince them to do it. It's also one of those, if you want to spend the money to do it, you can, if you want to buy that, that like me. I want that grand piano that goes on the Phoenix. I've been looking for that sucker for two years now, right? But if it becomes available, if it becomes available, whether in game or outside of the game, I will get it, right? That's, that's something I want to do uh, in to decorate in the game. Now, Kai mentioned, hmm? yeah, oh yeah, you're buying, yeah, like bobbleheads, right? I mean, there are things that people are, are willing to, the cosmetics, those things people will do, right? But there are two points you mentioned and Kai mentioned, one of them being, that the franchise of Star Citizen and Squadron 42 is big. Again, people hear $500 million and they think it's a lot of money. Over 10 years, that's $50 million a year. We all know now that there are mobile games that make a billion dollars a month or whatever. You know, they make ridiculous amounts of money. So $50 million a year to run six studios globally is not a big deal. It has only been within the last two to three years that CIG has been making a profit annually. They've usually been in the underneath. They've basically been struggling for seven, I remember about seven of those years, they were always okay. just barely making it. It's only been recently that they've been profitable. So when people hear 500 million, yeah, that's a lot of money to us because we ain't got $500 million in our bank. But for a game in the gaming industry over a 10 year period, $500 million is not a lot of money. No, and, and, okay. and that's for two okay. games. Two right. games, not one. Okay. And building a studio. And building and studios from the ground up. Insurance and everything All else. All that. Oh, right. And yes, I hate so, to keep bringing that up, but that's the truth. It is. And and don't get me wrong, it does raise a legitimate question. Well, how do you keep the machine going once this is launched? And I think mm -hmm. Kai's point about Squadron 40, that's why it's important that Squadron 42 is successful. If it brings in a lot of money, that's great. We also know that CIG is building beyond Star Citizen as far as gaming goes. They have built their new headquarters in Manchester. They built it in a, techno a technology, uh, what do you call it? Uh, um, what's the oh, word I'm looking for? There's a, te yeah. a technology community that they built it in the heart of, surrounded by other technology companies. They have built their mocap scenario where they're gonna be leasing that out. Chris Roberts came out of the motion picture industry. There's tie-ins with the people in Hollywood. There's a lot of other ways that CIG can bring in money. But DK, they have to be careful because Frontier, which started out with Elite, proceeded to expand its ways, going into other games and things, and Elite ended up suffering because of that. So striking that balance between making sure that Star Citizen becomes it, it doesn't have to be their main franchise, but it has to be the franchise that's taken care of because there are people who are into Star Citizen for the long-term haul. 
The yeah. Squadron 42 could be that one-off. You play the game, you enjoy it, and you're ready to move on to the next chapter. But Star Citizen is something that everybody in this community wants to see sustained and be around for a long time. I think CIG will do that. Yeah. I think Star Citizen is their thing, and I think they're going to make the bulk and majority of their money from licensing out their technology studios. Absolutely. I Absolutely. think Star Citizen is going to be a drop in the bucket for how much they're <clears> going to make <throat> licensing out a mocap studio to a major motion picture. Yeah, yeah. And if Squadron's I, a hit, if Squadron's a hit, they're going to bring in tons of money. They're going to bring in tons. Tons of money. That'll give them a good four year, five years of, of life. No problem. No questions asked, you know, the way it's going right now. They've laid a good foundation. It's been a lot. It's been tough. Don't get me wrong. It's been tough. But if you look at where they are now versus where we are when we started in a garage back in 2012, it it, it is it has been a journey. So. <laughs> Black Sky Leader said fake news. Okay, listen, guys, we have we have hit the top of this. Uh, we have had so much fun. It's been so great to be back with DK uh, on the show this week. Uh, we really appreciate you guys being here. We, as you guys know, we told you that we have special guests coming today. The player haters are going to be here. I think they are in the they're in the, yeah, they're in the green room waiting. So DK and I are going to take off our headphones and make some room for them. They haven't been here since we mentioned this. The player haters you haven't know. been here since. Boy. The months. virtual yeah. bar citizen back in November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's been a long mm -hmm. time since uh, they've been here. It's been a good little while. So I'm sure wow. they, they might be a little salty because we didn't invite them back. But, you know, hopefully they'll, they'll act right. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, we're going to get going. You guys, thank you guys again so much for your support and being here. Yo-Yo, thank you again for sending that out. Uh, I see people have been putting joke bands up for fast cart already in the, <laughs> even though he wasn't on the show, people putting, people putting joke bands in for fast cart. He's not even on the show this week, which is hilarious, I All right. even started. but we are going to hit the road for a little bit. We'll see you guys later. Be sure to, you know, give, you know, y'all treat the, the player haters good. Cause they might be a little salty because it's been a while since they've been here and we're going to get out of here. So thank you again. Always peace, love and soul stick around and uh, they'll be back in Bye just everybody. a couple of minutes. See you guys later. Take care. See you soon. Soul Citizens, the network that has brought you compelling programs about citizens, backers, refunders, white knights, pirates, salty space dogs, whales, dolphins, care bears, griefers, and grifters. Now, the Soul Citizens Network gives you another side of the story as we go into the world of the haters. The Soul Citizens present the Playa Hater. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Lock G, Lock G, are you there? Guess who's back? Mac is back. Yeah, how long is it taking Guess how long is it taking these punks to get us back here, man? They done kept us off for the Christmas yeah. and uh, 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 Hanukkah and everything. We ain't been here since all this time, man. brother. What's it's going on with you? Present. 
What's going on, brother? You looking good, my brother? You looking good? Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm doing all right, my brother. I'm just like chilling right now, man. It kept us in that green room all this time, talking all this stuff. Because holding on, they've been, you know, after three, four, five months, they just thought they forgot about hey, us. Hey, there's a trip. I tell you, that, that Griffin, that DK, I got something for them later on. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the player haters i'm here with my boy lock Ooh. g lock g lock g i'm liking that chain brother where'd you get that chain from you've been over on the well i don't know the i was gonna say look like the one i put in there last week i was about to say brother you been giving me my chain back but no that ain't it that ain't the one i put it's a little bit smaller than that one oh. listen we are back listen they left us a couple things so we want to say april fools to all you fools oh, that are oh, spending oh. money on star citizen i can't <laughs> believe it happy fools day I'm happy what's that april, april fools day april fools these fools keep spending money out. They, Every single day. They April keep 4th. spending money, DK. And remember, mm. remember, Derek Smart was right. Just remember that, brother. Derek Smart was Derek right. Smart was right. <laughs> Derek Smart was right. Mm. Listen, let's go ahead and get into it for these these fools out here. It's April Fool's Day, y'all. So I hope y'all ready for this. DK, we ready for the first one? All right, bring it. All right, Come here on. comes here comes the song. Come on. After and this is after, after you know 318 then came out. What an absolute Garbage game by U.S. Navy Nuck. Look at that U.S. Navy Nuck. U N N. Uh, that sounds like the U P N, the TV station. Anyway, understand it's alpha, but I managed to log in finally and walk out of my room and take the elevator down, and then the game crashes, and I can't get back in. Brother, couldn't get back in, brother. You couldn't get in. Now. Non-stop, being non-stop crashes and bugs for three days since purchasing. You want people to buy this ridiculous price ships for this boop, game? I still haven't even seen my ship. What you got to say about that, Lock G? What you got to say is the brother, is Derek Smart right? Derek Smart was right. He, he was right. I'm telling you. <laughs> he was right. This garbage this game. Garbage. garbage game. Oh, game is garbage. Wait, wait, wait. I, Hold I, on a minute. I, I got a, I got a note here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Did you like him? Wait, wait. I'm just reading this thing here. More players than ever before. 600 million. Uh, well, I don't know if that, well, maybe Derek Smart wasn't right. I wasn't, anyway, go ahead. What you gonna say, Lock G? What you gonna say? Derek Smart was still right. <laughs> I'm not gonna take any other answer. But the brother was right because he could, because his Derek brother Smart couldn't play. Right. That's right. All right. All right. Well, maybe Derek Smart was right. I don't know. Well, you know what? We got we got a couple people in the waiting room. They're going to come in and tell us what they think about this absolute man. garbage game. We got Kaizen. Try to convince me. What's up, Kaizen? What's up, man? It's been a while since we talked to you, brother. Uh, U.S. Navy nuke. Oh, my <laughs> God. First off, yes, 318 drop was a shit show. It's as has been every drop of every mmo that has been out in the last decade much less games that are in alpha uh, -huh. uh i spent some time on a couple navy ships and let me tell you this shit don't work right either <laughs> uh so uh and as far as Derek smart oh man yeah, watch your words my mama told me if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. So, oh, hey, 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 I love that brother. All right, my brother. I love it. I love it. Listen to that brother, boy, Lord. All right. All right. We got our brother Fist to Face lined up for us. Let's see what he got to say up in here. Let's see. What's up there, Fist to Face? What's up, my brother? Oh, man, I haven't seen y'all in so hey, long. Hey, brothers, haters gonna hate. We hate seeing you here today. What's going on, man? man? Oh, my goodness. I got on all of that gold. That's right. Well, this is real really gold. Fool's gold. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, can you believe this? He gonna come in here April Fool's Day and call us a fool? <laughs> Even if I buy it at the pawn shop from Cheese Lock, at least I know it's a real. That's right. Yeah, you better be careful. Oh, yeah. Take the back of your necks. It ain't going green. Oh, right? okay. oh you know what? Oh, you getting 30K oh. for that one, brother. Oh, you going to talk about my green hey. neck. Can you believe that, brother? Go talk about your green neck, man. Uh, uh, I can't sorry, believe bro. that man mess up your white suit with that green neck, brother. All. Ain't that a trip? All right. Let me, let, me, let me bring this other brother in. You know, now, listen. I ain't got to tell you whose voice this is. Let's see if you can figure out who this is. What's up, my brother? 
Hello, hello. Where, where How y'all you, doing? Where you been, man? What's up? Where you been? I've been fantastic. You know, you keep talking about Derek Smart was right. Derek Smart was so right, his last name ran away, ran away from him. <laughs> Just want to go ahead and be clear about that. He was so right, his last name ran away from him. But YG, brother, you look fantastic. That fool's gold. Don't let them make a fool of you because it's making a fool of you. I just want to let you know about oh, that. that last you know what? G Lock, you look so. F- you like you, you look so fabulous. You can tell that the uh, player head has been out for a while because you kept can't calling Lock G DK, but that's all right. Oh man, come back he called to... me out. Can you I believe just... that brother <laughs> called me out? I can you believe he called me? Come on, a Lock, a Lock G. Come on, let's give him the dance, brother. Let's give it to him. Let's give the player head his dance. You ready? Come on. Whoa, let's give the player head his dance. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, come on. Give it to me. I'm ready to go. Come on. All right. <laughs> it's uh. That's it, all right. And you know what, what else we gonna, you, you know what else we gonna give him? We gonna give him one of these too. Get him out of here. That brother talking all that trash, talking about us. Oh, I, oh, we got 30K. We got listen, we got one more, then we got another question. I know them brothers gonna come back. You know they ain't gonna leave us alone. Oh, so try, we got Sir try. Togi coming back in here. Sir Togi's coming to talk to the I don't think he's ever talked to what the player here. What's up, yeah. Sir Togi? Well, I got one thing to say here. Uh oh. This guy can't can't find his ship. Maybe he should have bought a bigger one. Ooh, oh, yeah. that's some hate. Oh, that brother, I like hate. him. Ooh. That's some hate. I like her. That I brother hate. throwing some hate. serious hate, hate out there on the brother. Should have bought a fire in space. That, that's it. Her. That's See? it. I like this guy. Lock G. I like, I like I, this guy, Sir oh, Togi. You are invited to the player party. Yes, sir, brother. Come yeah, to the player party. <laughs> Mm. All right, thank you, Togi. Togi is all right. You hear him, man? He, he threw some hate on that dude. Good Google it, Moogle it. All right, we got one more we going to hit. Where's my other question at? I hit the right button here, Doc. All right, here we go. All right, we're going to get rid of that one. Let's go to the next one. You ready? I'm ready. ready. All right. Let's look at this one here. All right, let me get my screen together here. All right, there we go. This was on Reddit, my brother. Squadron 42. Release date has been leaked. Now, you know, everybody know about Citizen Con coming up. We've been talking about that October 21st, but ain't nobody had the information about Squadron 42, the date being leaked. You want to see the date, Doc? I want to see it. You ready? What's the date? You ready I'm to write ready. it down? Because I heard about there this. There it is yet, right I'm there, ready. brother. I'm there ready. it is right there. There you go. See, you got the fool. Hey, hey fools, you yeah, forgot yeah, what day it was right already. Now. Ain't that I, a I trip? Over Ain't here. that a trip? You didn't even know that was coming. April fools, my brother. April. Oh, well, you know Scott, what? They Scott, they might tell Scott. us that anyway. It might be April Fools no matter what, because we've been waiting on this game for 10 years. All right, listen. <laughs> listen. All right. I think the April Fools might be on us. All right, listen. We're going to open up the channel for just a few minutes for you players and you haters and you April Foolers. This is the time we're going to do Ask a Player. So if you want to come in and ask either G Lock or Lock G a question, Feel free, y'all. This is y'all time. By the way, Colossal, I'm gonna beat you with this cane when I see you for making me mess up my thing calling Lock G D K. When I know that's Lock G, but I'm gonna get you later on that. But listen, y'all can come in and ask us any question about ourselves, hey, about Star Citizen, yeah. about them, about them, whatever y'all want to ask us. We got, we got we got one person coming in right now. Let's see, this is gonna be fist. Oh, you know, we, we you know he got that 30k last time, so he's gonna try to come in here and be, be crazy. What's up? What's up, uh, fist to face? What's going on, fellas? Hey, listen, I apologize a little earlier, but you know, I just wanted to know, you know, saying that everything's on. I haven't seen y'all in a while, but I got a question for you. And matter of fact, specifically for Lock G, and maybe even you, G Lock. I was over at Brio's Breakyard the other day, right? And I was talking to Wicked Wookie, and I saw a 600 eye on Cinder Blocks. Was that yours? Oh, see. Oh, is that the one you left around the corner uh, back there on the other side no, of area no, you know, no, 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 no. First of no, all, you, you know he's trying to take some hate on us, like G, because he know how we feel about the Origin 600. See, that yeah. was one of them April Fool's cheap trick trick shots he tried to throw at us. He like, we, like we were supposed to just, you see, he tried mm-hmm. to straighten his voice up like he was talking all serious and stuff. Then he gonna try and drop that bomb on us. So you know what? We gonna drop the bomb right back on that brother again. 30K, that brother right on out of here. I can't believe that brother tried to sneak. I knew he was gonna sneak up in here and start some trash again, man. Well, listen. All right, that's that's gonna be it. We gonna gonna take that one question because you know it's April Fool's Day and I don't want no more fools coming in here trying to talk some stuff. Uh oh. Well, we got one of the biggest fools oh, of all just dropped into the line, oh, so we might as well go yeah. ahead and bring one more fool oh, in here for the day. Church. All right, this is that that dude Fast Card. What's up, man? 
No, I'm not much. Good to see you all. I haven't been seeing y'all since November. Yeah, it's been a while. Y'all ain't invited us out here in four months. That's why we ain't been out here. Y'all didn't invite us oh, back. Oh, well, you know. We had to get we, people talking about where the player haters. Where the player haters. Where the player haters. Where the player haters. <laughs> then we finally could come on the show after y'all had a massive mailings like, and stuff. Right here. <laughs> well, y'all are back now, so that's all that counts. But I, I do have a question for y'all. Okay. It, it, it's related to the previous question. Now, how would the player, the player hater change game funding? I was just curious about your opinion, like G and, and G Lot. How would you change game funding? Mm. I'll tell you this they need to change the game funding to my model. You just go that? out. Mm, mm. See, I just get a whole bunch of ships. And I sell those ships to you, and then you pay me for those ships. Ooh. And then that's how it works. So then I get the money, CIG gets their money, and we all happy, and you get your ship. Now, I granted, CIG might have it at a lower price. Now, I didn't say that that Ooh. was going to be the case. Ooh. I'm just saying you can come to Log G and get a more personal experience. So instead of going to the black gray market, they're going to go to the black market, if you know what I mean, my brother. They're going to go to the black market to get that shit. Right. I mean, it might be a 20% increase. I didn't say that it was going to be 20%. I said it might be. <laughs> but, 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 but Log G, Log G, I got a question for you. House. What if what if you have bad credit? Bad oh, credit, no bad credit. credit. As long as you got a job, you can buy yourself a ship. That's and it. That's, that's a hater speech there, brother. That's some hater speech. And to answer right. your question, Fast Card, I'm going to close out the show on this. If we want to make more money in Star Citizen, I can tell you exactly how to do it. You ready for this, Lock G? You ready for it? Here it come. I'm ready. We're going to just have a whole lot more escort ships, if you know what I mean, my brother. Escort <laughs> ships, all right? All right. Thank you there, FC. Appreciate you, brother. We're going to start the escort ships lot. All right, all right, all right. Listen, let's go ahead and wrap this on up and get on out of here since these brothers took four months to get us to come back. Um, Better not be that much longer anytime soon. Come that's on. it. That's it. Listen, people's coming back. You know, people. Love yeah, it. we're gonna bring back some more folks. Listen, we appreciate y'all coming and hanging out with us. Don't forget them two punks that was up here earlier. We appreciate y'all being here because y'all know y'all really stuck around for me and Lock G. You knew it. Uh, they told us that we got to get this crummy ad for tomorrow. They got their show coming up called Shoots and Scores, and according to them, uh, they're gonna be talking about what it takes to shoot. And put music, that's what scoring means, like G, in case you didn't know. They ain't talking about no basketball. They talk about being able to put music to machinima and cinematics. And, you know, a lot of these other April Fools that, that love this game so much, they be out there trying to, you know, pump up this stuff, making stuff. Anyway, they got, uh, let's see who's going to be on here. EE e. Studios is going to be here. Then we got Graydon Square. That's going to be his first time coming on. And then uh, that guy, what's his name? Star Jump Grimm. They gonna be here tomorrow talking about how they put their animations and all the music together and all that good stuff. And I know, like G, you a big, you a big hip hop, hip hop house fan guy. So I'm sure you'll be here to watch that because they might have a little house music in there yeah, for the machine. Oh yeah, of course. That's, that's that's the way to do it, you know. All right. And and, and they'll get the best house music. You just come over to the uh, house sessions over there. I think. DK actually is the resident DJ, so you know he got to go over there. Yeah, yeah. At Bar. All the right. The bar that was stolen from me, and you <laughs> spun the name around and thought she was smart and stuff. Mm -hmm. I think you need to get a lawsuit going for that, brother. You need to be compensated, as they would say. You need compensation. Mm -hmm. I need or, some compensation. Well, I know that suit looks like it might need some compensation, too, but I ain't going to go there today. April Fools, my brother. Happy April oh, Fools oh, to you. We're going to say Fool, Apple Fools to all you jokers out there still trying to push them buttons to get 318 working. Right. You know, y'all ain't fools just hanging there a little bit longer. Uh, if you don't play the game, you look foolish. You just keep pushing that button and you'll get in and eventually. You're a fool no matter what you do. <laughs> all right. <Hey. laughs> well, listen, I don't know. That guy, Fast Card, he ain't told me who we're supposed to be raiding. I don't know if we raiding somebody or what. What are we doing, Fast Card? Right. You ain't on your job, uh, brother. You supposed to be out here hooking us up. Griff said you was going to hook us up. Now you're going to make us have to do some one, work. You know, I don't do job. no work, man. That's the last thing. Yeah, one job. Yeah, one job, right? See, I get other people to work for me. Let's see what we got here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who is out here that we could raid? We normally supposed to raid that Paul Shelley guy, but I right, let me finish talking up. I'm sure FC will be looking up something for us. Let me finish up the rest of my speech. All right, so y'all know 
that this is what they call Pod Set Saturday, Podcast Saturday. This is when uh, we go out and y'all, well, not us because we're going to be at the club, but when y'all get out of here, y'all supposed to go over and visit with uh, Paul Shelley at the Astro Pub with the captain's table at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And then after that, the OGs, Lock G, the OGs of streaming, the guys over at Relay, go over there and visit mm-hmm. with them at 9 p.m. Yeah. Eastern time. By that time, me and Lock G going to be at the club. And uh, mm-hmm. after that, we'll be thinking about ways we can open up our escort service, like G, right. escort service uh, for I Star Citizen, because we want to be able to escort people wherever they need to go in the Star I Citizen mean, universe. So we got gonna, places to go. We're going to make sure you get there and you be, be happy. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to be happy. Are you going to guarantee they're going to be happy, brother? Oh, we guarantee their happiness. You're going to you well, guarantee you their don't, happiness. You're going to be happy in Lock G's world. All right. All right. Well, y'all heard it from Lock G himself. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Definitely time to go because my voice is going. We're going to send you guys over to Atmo Esports. Don't forget to come back on tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Check out Shoots and Scores with the rest of the team from Soul Citizens. And my brother, as always, you're looking dapper. Stay safe. Stay a player. Keep on hating. And to all of you all out there, peace, love, and soul. We'll see you guys real soon. Peace out. Take care. Peace.